quiet place. Previously on Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. I'll just kind of sit tight and let you guys run into me if that's alright with you. Alrighty, now what's this challenge? Oh dear God, no! Come on, man! Get, get it! Yes! <laughs> now you can take the prize on show. While up the winding stairs I go. You won't catch me. I've made sure. All the credits you'll now endure. Uh, oh, excuse me. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. I'm your host, Silent Senior09, and today I'm going to do something a little different. Instead of having the question of the video at the end, I'm actually going to have it at the beginning, and this is going to be basically this is going to count as the question for both this video and the next video, because I foresee this as being a two-parter, because there's no way I can beat Grunty and watch the credits within 15 minutes or less or so. So, the first pic- uh, basically these are just going to be pictures that are going to flash up on the screen. Um, the first one is a, an I is a type of item, or uh, excuse me, a type of dish. So, here it is. Okay, got it? Alright, now the second one actually is a phrase. If you can tell me what it is, you're awesome as well. So, here it is. Alrighty, got it guys? If you have to, you can pause the video and just watch them, or watch them, uh, write them down. But basically, these are word riddles, I guess you could say. So, I figured I'd do something a little different than the usual, because I know the same old, same old can get old fast. And by the way, there's the cauldron that uh, we can activate if we don't feel like going all the way across the game board. Which, by the way, now we can fall in the lava, actually, if we accidentally miss, like, a step or something. By the way, there's an extra barren bird in the window there. Alrighty, so we need 810 notes. I think we qualify. Oh, yeah! Woo! Alrighty, so hopefully that'll be... Oh, jeez, what is this? Holy cow, another puzzle? And it's completely bare. Well, fortunately, we got them all. It's not over, stupid bear! See my picture over there! To fill it up is no mean feat. Lots of jiggies make it complete! Well, I think I have plenty, so let me uh, fill this in. Oh, that's an ugly picture. I'm sad to say, down there you'll stop. Cause I'm safe here, at the top! Jeez, you're predictable, I'll tell you what. Oh well. Well, if we check it, well, I don't want to go in there just yet. Uh, there's actually, we can check out the room that Tootie was held in. Where the heck is it at, though, I wonder? Okay, maybe that was... Oh, okay, it's this way. Yeah, this is the room that Tootie was held in. There's nothing in here except for a grunt lane, which is fun to knock out, but you can't do anything as far as I know. You can't push the switch or go through the door or anything. As far as I know, there's nothing behind these, so it's not like they'll do you any good, but... Eh, for the kicks and giggles, there you go. Kicks and giggles! Yay! Okay, so let's go ahead and head through the door that we just opened up. I think if I counted right, you need approximately... Let's see, we had 32 jiggies, so now we have 6. That means we needed 26 jiggies to get through that door. Otherwise, I miscounted. My bad. Phew! What's that disgusting smell? Oh, visitors for Dingbot. <laughs> I like visitors. It's a wonder you get any sewer breath. Ah, what does strange birdie thing mean? Er, uh, she said that we're looking for Gruntilda. Do you know where she is? <laughs> I sure do, Mr. Bear. Grunty's awful, you know. She was sick in me earlier on. <laughs> if you can get rid of her, I'll be free. Don't be sure, you silly pot. Soon I'll have you nice and hot. See these filthy clothes I've got? When I've won, you'll wash the lot! Ew. Don't worry, Dingpot. We'll sort her out if you can find us a way up there. No problem. <laughs> Just splash on in, and I'll fire you up to the top. <laughs> Jump in there? No way, Dungbox! 
Come on, Kazooie. You get a chance to peck the witch's booty. Let's go! Well, before we do that, there's actually some note doors in here. Uh, 864 gives us an access to gold feathers. If you think I'm rather soft, I'll be waiting in the loft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's kind of cool the way they did the sprites. 828, which, by the way, if you're paying attention, each of these, I believe, add up to 18, or a factor of, or something that 18, or something that 9 can go into. So that's a supply, a good supply of eggs. What is this? 872, 882. Once again, factor of 18. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, what I mean is when you take all the numbers and the digits and add them to, together, you'll get 18. Is what I meant. Four and six and eight, that's 18. Nine can go into it. And here's a nice slim, unlimited supply of feathers. I love how they did the little sounds. That's really cool. Alrighty, so down the hall we find ourselves our last puzzle to put together. So let's do it to it, shall we? We'll do it one at a time. One, two, three, four. Booyah! And now we're left with two jiggies. And now we just doubled our life bar. If you have done that, you will save yourself a lot of hardship come this fight. If you don't, it's possible to do without it, I promise, because I've done it before. It's just... It's a little challenging, I'll admit. So anyway, enough chatter. Let's fight. We're ready to kick some witch butt, man. I can't believe that furry pair got right up here. It's so unfair. But now the stupid bear must fight. This battle tests your skill and might. Alrighty, so for the first uh, bit... We gotta wait till she dive bombs us, or attempts to anyway. And as soon after, like, for one, two, three, maybe four times, she'll eventually stall out. And what you can do is you can either use your eggs and fire at them, or you can peck her butt, basically. Yeah, 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 I hear ya. You gotta do this, I think, about three or four times, so it's gonna take a little bit. Jeez, man. Broom abuse much? It's not the way you get the floor, the floor swept. I'm serious, man. You gotta dance with a broom. I don't know how many of you do that whenever you get clean sometimes, when you feel like in, you're in a dorky mood, or you just you don't feel like cleaning, but you're trying to stay in the mood so you can get it done. And sometimes I'll just dance or do something silly while I'm doing the chore. So that way it's less of a chore, you know? Alrighty. Come on now. Give me a best shot! Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, dang, she actually got me. Ouch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Quit talking like one of them annoying little books. Magic spiller Benjo, homie, and get him now to stop this something. Yeah, it worked all the same. It's too easy, so I fear. Now watch me step things up a gear. Okay, this one can be a little tricky because... She's constantly firing spells, but the idea is to get her to fire one direction, miss, and then fire an e a few eggs at her. And then, on each of, like, the corner, well, corner, every so many of these, you have to- Oh, jeez, you want to fall off, of course. <clears throat> you have to jump up and hit her with some more eggs, basically. You should make sure whatever, ang whatever uh, platform you pick, that you can get a good aim on her. Which, unfortunately, I didn't get as good of a name, but hey, I got her a few times. There we go, that's two. I think you have to do this about four times. Come on, you witch. It ain't over yet. Okay, hang on, hang on. Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> Sorry. I wish I could do her scream perfectly, because then I can just, like, echo it whenever she screams. She's, like, screaming bear every time. Okay, that's one, two, three, four. Oh, okay. My bad, I miscalculated that. One, two, three, four. Okay. Two, three. Oh, I miscounted that one too. One, 
two, three, four. Okay. Three. Oh, actually, that's four. Well, good thing I jumped up anyway. Oh, jeez. See my broomstick, watch me fly. I'll beat your butt, don't even try. Hey, Banjo, the all hag's taking to the air. This flight pad should help you, though. Alrighty, this is where I probably tend to screw up, and I'm sure many people can agree. This is the part of the fight where you find yourself messing up a lot. You have to uh, fly up in the air, and then as she stops, basically, or at a good angle, you have to dive bomb the crap out of her. It doesn't matter what part of her you hit, you just have to hit her, actually. Which is sometimes a little tricky, because if you accidentally do that when you are either uh, too low to the ground, or you wind up hitting the ground and then going off the tower, then you end up dying. Ouch! How that stung! Take this nasty spell I brung! Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's just begun, you little witch. So quit your whining while I give you an itch. Okay, hang on a sec here. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just back off a bit. That stuff's starting home in on me, man. That's nasty. Two. I think two. I think it, it's done in f about fours. I think so. While everything in this game's been about like threes, I think fours is the way this one goes. But I could be wrong. Oh yeah, right in the crotch, man. Take that, you witch. Alright, let's get you right in the booty. Right in the booty! Oh, shoot! Ah! Wow. That was a scream. Alright, I think we got this, guys. And, yeah! Right in the face! Oh, yeah. Special shield I need to call to stop your hits once and for all. Oh, we might as well, might as well get down then, because there ain't no way we can hit her in the air now. What are we gonna do? Panic! She's gonna keep trying to hit us. Grunty, Grunty capture us, Jindos. Now we come for help. Useless Jindos, sneer a hoot. Go back right now or taste my boot. Yeah, right. You're just a sore loser because I'm kicking your butt. Oh, snap. Crap just got real. <laughs> Blunk! <laughs> That's not fair! I wasn't ready! Jinjos make me so unsteady! Oh, pish posh, poppycock. You're full of crap. Alrighty, one more time. And there we go. This fight, you just kind of want to... This part of the fight, you just kind of want to move around constantly. And as she fires her shot, you go ahead and fire some egg, more eggs into the little statues. Because there's four of them that you have to knock out, so you don't want to take too many hits. There we go, that should do the trick. Four statues knocked out. Alright, this should do the trick. Yeah! Oh, snap! That last shot I failed to stop! So down onto the ground, I'll drop! Oh, man. Now, this is where she gets really nasty, and you want to be very careful, because if you take too many hits, you might actually lose. And every, I think, like, four or five shots, she sends a homing spell, so it's not like you have limitless life in this battle. Oh, what? I am the Marchy Genitonator! Activate me! I really think you ought to run when I beat him and spoil your fun! Alrighty, to activate the Genjonator, this is the final climax of the game, and it was the funnest part. If you manage to pull it off, of course. Usually you get a good sh Ah, shoot, no! Fire the eggs! Usually you get a good chance to shoot the eggs in as soon as she does her homing spell. And then right after that, you block that. And you'll have plenty of time, usually, to go ahead and fire off some a ton of eggs into the statue. 
It's usually a good strategy to do, if, especially if you're one of those people who's trying to do like a, I don't know, a four honeycomb run or something. Oh shoot. Because you can take a lot of damage if you're not careful. And... Yeah, this is the nastiest one. Running right in front. Okay. Come on. I need the homing spell. Come on, homing spell. Alright, goodbye homing spell. 